Place 29 is the British Cup Turf, mile and a half group one, of course. And at the top, House Hyden for Dan Hughes, Venetian King Leon Van Rensburg, White Abario, Dan Hughes, White Lightning, Derek Hinton, Nipsalanti, Malune, Vinnie Gerard, Black Heart, Joshua Sutherland, Hydra Pease, Darren Thompson, Nature's Beauty, Leon Van Rensburg, Night Vision, David Rawson, Springfield Glorious, Vinnie Gerard, Home of the Brave, Paul Rose, Trapango Commodity, Darren Thompson, Carolina, David Robertson, and Warning Signs for Joshua Sutherland. A field of 14 in the Breeders' Cup turf. And away they go. The Robson pair were just a little bit slower to go than the rest of them, but one or two of these caught wide on the track or possibly lose a few lengths on these turns. But the Derek Hinton horse, White Lightning, has made good from that bad draw and got right across to the fence in a good manoeuvre by the jockey. If that one is successful, Derek Hinton ought to be giving that jockey a bonus as he's got into a three length lead as well from Blackheart in second. Then House Hyden is still wide on the track in third with his stable mate White Abario looking towards the back Springfield Glorious. The fourth grey is the back marker at this point. So they're coming up then past the stands, past the big screens and past the winning post shortly. And then they'll head out for a complete circuit of the track and White Lightning has got a four to five length lead from Trapango Commodity in second and White Abario on that one's outside third. Home of the Brave is next, then Venetian King and Blackheart with night vision and warning signs and then Ypsilanti Malune is after that one. Springfield Glorious coming quite wide on the track as well as Hydra Pease and the one who just dropped out the back is Nature's Beauty but they're taking this bottom turn there and it's White Lightning who's got the lead by about three to White Abario who's moved through into second. Trapango Commodity is third on the rail. Then Night Vision and Home of the Brave. Venetian King got a good posse. So to Ypsilanti Molly warning signs is after that one. Blackheart just lost his place a little bit and dropped towards the back. High Trapeze is trying to get onto the inside, but he's now totally last and he's going to need a dream run to get through. But it's White Lightning and leads by a banner length to Home of the Brave in second. Warning signs creeping up on the inside third. Venetian King is fourth. He's now making a move on Night Vision, but he's got nowhere to go. Boxed off. And the two Vinnie Gerald horses are going to lose a bit of ground on this turn. Still being forced quite wide by Carolina as Trapango Commodity also runs into a cul-de-sac. One or two of these getting themselves into trouble, but White Lightning is having none of that problem because he's clearing the lead by four. It's White Lightning and then from Venetian King in second. Home of the Brave is next. Then comes Night Vision who's now got a clear run. Warning signs and Trapango Commodity still got nowhere to go and White Lightning's hanging on with a furlong and a half to go. White Lightning's in front. Venetian King is still coming to challenge. Home of the Brave is next. Here come the Vinnie Gerard horses on the outside. Ypsilanti Malheur and Springfield Glorious and it's Ypsilanti Malheur and Springfield Glorious have got a court. Venetian King is still there as well but it's Ypsilanti Malheur who's going to take it. Ypsilanti Malheur wins the turf from Venetian King and Springfield Glorious then Night Vision Carolina Blackheart. There's some bad luck stories in there with horses who got themselves boxed in on the inside and saw their chances disappear but despite running fairly wide for most of the race Ypsilanti Malheur has turned out the winner. For Vinnie Gerard, Venetian King second for Leon Van Rensburg, Springfield Glorious was third for Vinnie Gerard. Night Vision was one of the ones who was having a few issues. And David Robertson was fourth, and Nature's Beauty for Leon Van Rensburg ran on from the back to be fifth.